Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and get ready because you're about to get an overdose of cringe. We're going to watch an Irish dating show. The thing to know about Irish TV is every show is cringe. Somehow everything is just, it just makes you go. <sighs> Nobody wanted to get their hands on Jude's bull semen. Me included, by the way. I, I am involved in that. I will make you go. <sighs> ah, all right. Let's jump in. I apologize, I couldn't get this in better quality, by the way. I really, really tried, but Irish TV is just bad. <laughs> All right, so it's, it's not really available. Even the host, he's like, <laughs> but in reality, you know there was just silence. Oh, here come the girls. Okay, so the idea is they get, I don't know, a few dozen girls and they're all at a button and then, you know, they hit the button if they don't want the guy and if the guy doesn't want the girl, they go up and hit the button. It's gonna be incredibly awkward. <laughs> Oh, that is music to my ears. Is it? It sounded like they were being held at gunpoint. You know, I'm very particular about what goes, my saddle goes near and what I... Put between produce. your legs. Between yeah, legs, okay, yeah. Well, I get it. What? <laughs> what was that? They were talking about horse riding and then he just drops that in there. Oh, we're only three minutes in and I'm already overdosed on cringe. Okay, here comes the first man. This is going to surprise you. Don't forget to listen to the music our boys walk on to because they chose those tunes themselves. And if you're ready, so am I. Let's bring on the boys! No, I lied to you. I have a little bit too much dignity to go on this show. <laughs> Cahill and I'm from Kildare. Oh God, shout it at them, I like that. Don't talk to them, talk at them. <laughs> ah, Jesus, he lost two already. Is that the, the way he talked, is that it? Oh God, I can just feel the like, what do I do with my hands, you know? <laughs> you can tell he doesn't know. I just, I, I, I don't know, not for me, sorry. No worries. <laughs> it's the most Irish thing ever. It's like, ah, you're not for me. Ah, no bother. <laughs> uh, Linda, what do you think? Lights on. Ah, like he has his own leather jacket that would work for the bike, so... <laughs> Imagine that! It's like, what do you think? How about you compliment us? Oh, he has a jacket. <laughs> oh, that would hurt. Carl, what will the girls think after they take a look at this? Oh, no, he's prepared something. A video. Carl would be very good with the ladies. Oh, they're all going. Oh, they're all going. They hated that picture. Yeah, he has no real shame. And uh, he doesn't leave much Oh, no! His friends are trying to be like wingmen for him and it's it's having the opposite effect. Oh no, Kyle, this is a disaster. <laughs> what are we going to do, Kyle? It's really creative, had the beer box protecting his head. I know it's tough in oxygen with the sun and all that. Oh yeah, that. of course, you need protection. But yeah. uh, wasn't keen on all the girls. Sun protection. <laughs> Uh, Dirty. <laughs> I liked that someone called him out. <laughs> she was just like, oh yeah, making a joke about that he had a box over his head, like a beer box. Like, oh yeah, protection from the sun. He took it in a dirty way, because of course that's his job. And then she hits him with the... Dirty. <laughs> <laughs> the little laugh and everything. Well, obviously he's not getting enough, ladies, if he's appearing on Take Me Out. <laughs> I'm never satisfied. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh no. Why would you say that? And it looks like a good crack as well. Good crack. All right, nice one. Uh, I should, I should uh, clarify that. Good crack means like good fun. <laughs> Just so you're aware, they're not like, oh, he's a good crack. Because <laughs> that, that sounds wrong. Uh, go for a few drinks. I'm fun and I'm out going. And she doesn't like fun. Oh no. Oh, this is getting so awkward. He has one left. I hate this and I love it at the same time. It's like a car crash. I can't look away. Probably because I'm in it. <laughs> so he doesn't get a choice. It's just like everyone else left. So by process of elimination, they're dating now. He still can't figure out what to do with his hands. And I'm kind of feeling the same now. I don't know what to do with my hands either. So oh. <laughs> All right, they're going off on their date, so. Let's see what happens now. I don't know if we actually get to see the date. Sorry, I just reverted to jazz hands because I, I genuinely don't know what to do anymore. Wait, do we not get to see the date? They just went backstage and went by next to a flower. This is literally just behind the curtain. <laughs> okay, so this is the summary of last week's episode. You know what I'll do? I'll go watch next week's episode and we'll get the result of the dates from this episode at the end. I, th I think it's just giving me some recovery time here. Yeah, it was just black screen for like 10 seconds. It's like, just relax, breathe, <laughs> you'll be okay. Bring on the boy! I'm from Kent in England, but now living in Kildare. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, that gets applause? Oh, hold on a second. I didn't realize it was that easy. Hello, I'm Kevin from Cark. Please clap. Everyone's gonna give out to me, but I hate that song. You hate that song? Oh, it was the song. Okay, that's what she went out on. You know, I think I've mentioned before, I had a minister, Jack Russell, and his name was Jagger. He was named after that song. Jagger's gone. Oh, no! 
dude, you picked a terrible song. I didn't walk him enough, so I'm going to get him away. <laughs> what? Wait, hold on. I thought you were talking about the dog died. She was like, oh, my my dog, he was named Jagger, and he had to go away. And I was like... Oh, the, the, the poor dog died. That that might be traumatic. I don't know. Maybe it just spurred her to hit it. But no, she's like, oh, I didn't walk the dog, so I gave it away. You know, the song's called Moves Like Jagger. Maybe Maroon 5 was trying to tell you, feckin' move Jagger. Maybe take it for a walk. Right, you just go off and get changed. Give it up for Daniel. Wait, he needs to get changed? What? Did he soil himself? Why, why is he leaving? The other one didn't leave. He's brought his snowboard. For some reason, I don't understand. <laughs> Love snowboarding and mountain biking. It's exhilarating, stunning scenery. And Why are you all leaving? <laughs> Leave him talk. My philosophy on life is we're here for a good time, not a long time. What? <laughs> No, I want to be bored and live forever. I'm a sun worshipper. You won't get me in the snow. Uh. <laughs> what was that? The host get like feedback in his ear. Uh, we don't know what to say. Just make some noises. Ah. Uh. This one beside me is mad after oh you. God, okay, maybe we have a match. Who are you gonna turn off? Audience, what are you turn off? No, dude. You two were meant to be. <laughs> I'm getting too invested in this. Oh, he's gonna make his choice. He's gotta pick one. Who is he gonna pick? Look at that other girl defending. Like, you're not pushing this button. <laughs> you think you can get through me? God, this woman just came in to replace the other woman. She's probably disappointed. She's like, I get to be on TV for a few weeks, but she immediately gets removed from the show. I mean, she's probably happy to find her forever partner, I mean, is what I meant to say. Lads, for your date tonight, you're going somewhere that combines both worlds. That's Pound World and Carpet World. What? We're going to shift What? Oh my god, <laughs> this show. Oh, look at him, he's looking back. He's trying to get back on the show. <laughs> Bring on the boy! Oh no, we got another person who doesn't know what to do with their hands, and it's it's contagious. Aren't you feeling that way too, or is it just me? Fair play to you, if we're not feeling nervous, I'd be nervous out here in front of this. <laughs> not nervous at all, and then <sighs> heavy breathing commences. It looks like he's gone and got gel and individually spiked up every one of their spikes. <laughs> and um, really small fee. What? Chancel, your light's on. He's just so cute. His face look really nice to my chest. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? He's, he doesn't know how to react. He's just like... Uh, Cody, lights on. I've been asking for day one from a Northern Irish man. Ah, oh, will you say situation? Oh, no. All right, let me try it first. Hold on. Let me do it. Situation. <laughs> Let's see. Situation. Oh. All right, you did it better. 23 lights still on, Don. Ladies, take a look at this. And if you want more of the same, stay in the game. Oh, no. He, he knows what's coming. He doesn't like it. What's coming? His little promo video. This is the trailer for his life. Yeah, ever since I was born, I was always into sport and all. And I was mostly into football there. It's okay, like they don't like people who can run, apparently. <laughs> Just the ability of running? Women hate that. The type of girl I'm looking for is... Uh... What? They just cut him off. The type of girl I'm looking for is... I think I see him like a star on his back. Is that a tattoo? Oh, I don't want to oh, know. Boys, I can see me going home now. <laughs> <laughs> this guy! Oh no, he's gonna show his tattoo, folks. He's gonna rip his mic off. What What the hell tattoo is this? Is that a dragon? There's nothing... Nothing wrong with that. It's just a bit... Uh, you know what? I won't even say anything. No, ladies, protect that button. <laughs> Look, it worked. <laughs> he ran away. He was too afraid. Uh, but you're off on your date and everyone bent over backwards for this one. Okay, folks, we're on to our last one and then we'll get to see how the dates went. Okay. Someone to make me laugh. Okay, bit of crack? Yeah. Nice guy. They're all, was, they're all on about the crack. We've got a bit of a crack addiction here, I think. Oh, confidence stance. You got that wide stance going on, you know? I'm going wider to assert dominance. This just makes me look like a child. My legs are all warped from the lens, and it looks like I've skipped leg day every day of my life. What are you going to do for us? I'm going to do a quick magic trick with you. A magic trick? All right. Oh, okay, a magic trick. Oh, God. Where's my light? Can we turn on my light? <laughs> Can you catch this? See what that is? Okay, the nine of hearts. This card. What's he gonna do? Oh, I hope he eats the cards. That'd be such a neat trick. Okay. Yeah. I hope this <laughs> works. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I just Googled magic tricks last night. It's the same card! Oh, he did it! Yes! Magic! Ah, come on! It worked! He is a man of wizardry. What's the story? Lights out in that one. I don't know. I just thought it was a little bit boring. Like, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the little noise. Uh, the magic trick didn't work for you. No, he went to my school. 
What? Yes. Really? Wait, hold on. Wait, timing wise, you mean you went to same school or like he's hanging around schools in general? Because that's really important. I actually have a really good magic trick that I perfected as well. It's called hide the sausage. <laughs> What's that? Come on! That was awful! Honestly, I think a contestant should just turn to the camera and go, sexual innuendo. <laughs> defense, defense, come on! Oh, no, defense! Oh, you dropped the ball! You were guarding the wrong button! <laughs> Look at that defense! Oh, it didn't work! <laughs> so many of them covering the button! Uh, one of my biggest fears is crisps. What? What? <laughs> That's really freaked me out. You're so in the audience rustling like, ooh. I wonder what really freaks you out. Also crisps. Um, well, I'm actually allergic to crisps, so. Oh my God, it's a match made in heaven. Well, I hate snakes, but I wouldn't mind yours. <laughs> Will you stop it, you? <laughs> You're saying these inappropriate stuff just because the audience claps every time anything sexual is said. Come on, crisp lady, please. Crisp lady, it, it has to be crisp lady, please. You'll get married, honestly, I can tell. Yes, crisp lady, yes. <laughs> I've never been so happy. How many puppies do you have? At the moment, none, but I have them on my spare time off college. You have them in your spare time? Right, yes. okay. Uh, Connor, maybe you'll get to see our puppies. Will you stop it? Jesus Christ, like... The weird thing about crisps, not many people have, have that as well, so... <laughs> Most of the others were like, oh, jeez. They were just a lovely girl or guy, you know. They they were just my kind of person. He's like, the thing about crisps, like it, it's a rarity, and I won't let that slip through the cracks. Fantastic matches all around, but it's it's got to be the final couple for me. They were my favorite by far. We got to check in with them. Oh my god, if they didn't go well, I'm gonna be heartbroken. No, we can still chat away. I'm quite comfortable with them, so. No complaints. <laughs> his first impression was spilling his drink all over himself. I was happy with how the night went, so I'd, I'd take her out again. If that were to ask me out for a second date, um, yeah, I wouldn't see any reason to say no. There you go. Not the most passionate in date. Like, he was like, yeah, I guess we got a date. She's like, I wouldn't say no, I suppose. I'm, I really feel so awful saying this, but I just don't think that we're going in the, right, the same direction. No! I'm not listening to you anymore. You broke his heart and in turn you broke mine. Once he got chatting, he was easy to talk and the conversation just seemed to flow and I enjoyed the chat. Oh, when I started talking to her, I thought, geez, this little doll of uh, we have a bit of crack and all and all. I was looking forward to getting like, a drink with her and all, so see how things went, so. Hold on, I'll translate that for you. Uh... No, I can't. All right, we'll move on. Look, that doesn't matter. I don't care about them anymore. I want to find out about Crisp Couple. Come on. Get married. I definitely ask you to again, because she's a crap. Yes, and, and she will? She will do it? If Connor was to ask me on another date, I think I'd say yes. Yes! They're gonna get married and have five kids and live in the suburbs. <laughs> oh, wait, we can actually get a break down here. So Red, the boy failed to get a date. Silver, the boy got a date, but the couple was unsuccessful. Gold, the boy got a date and the couple was successful. Lots of golds here. I thought this would be a minority. No! <laughs> I'm devastated! Now, this must be wrong. This has got to be, like, incorrectly color-coded because the rest of them apparently became couples and I'm sure they were like, nah. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. Well, needless to say, I'm devastated and gotta go eat some crisps and ice cream just to make myself feel better. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you want to see more Irish TV. I would be totally open to it. It's all just a cringe fest. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you're new, subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.